These days, we all have multiple digital accounts, whether they are of multiple email IDs that we own or subscriptions to services like Dropbox, Box, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and so on. There are countless of such possibilities. So it is important to have unique passwords for all the accounts which we own so that even if hacker manages to break into any of the account, the damage is limited to that particular account. And there has been instances wherein the user has been a victim of a, a phishing attack which basically means the web page looks like the same as that of the original service provider but uh, that actually was a phishing page wherein the passwords or the credentials were being sent to the hacker or instances such as wherein the service provider gets uh, compromised and the hacker manages to steal away a large chunk of users data which basically means the email id password and any other personal information so to ensure that the damage is contained to one single account you must have unique passwords for all of the accounts which you have so a password manager is the software wherein you can keep all of your passwords securely and you won't face that uh, falling dominoes kind of instance wherein one if one account gets compromised all of the accounts will also get compromised so to prevent that we use uh, a password manager and now it is important to identify the best password managers so thanks to one of the viewers of uh, being skilled we came across one of the comments where it was mentioned that key pass is also one of the password manager so we researched a bit uh, on it and uh, it turned out to be an amazing password manager so some of the main features of uh, the software are that uh, the software is open source so which basically means the entire source code of this application is open for all you can even make a new application out of this or you can make some enhancements also it is cross-platform so even if you are using windows machine or linux based operating system or a mac os uh, machine it will work for all of those machines and also the encryption is of the industry standard aes uh, which uh, uses the 256 bit key so that is the strongest kind of encryption which you can get and your information your password information which is the key to your thousands of secrets will be held secure so we will be exploring this application in this tutorial so first step is to download the application just go to download and uh, you will be shown different options uh, you can just uh, select whatsoever operating system you're using we are using mac OS, so we will just download this uh, binary bundle click on it install it the way you do normally and just uh, double click on the application to open it for the first time it will show you this kind of uh, dialog so just click on open and once you're done with that now what do you want to do so since we are new user we will be creating a new database in it so the database name can be anything we are just testing it out so testing new one and anything which you want so maybe hyper secure passwords anything which you want so now decryption time so basically the entire database will be encrypted so it takes a lot of time in decryption but the more time it will take the stronger the protection would be so choose the highest if you are using the latest machine and if you're using sluggish machine you can just bring it down or you can keep it midway so we are keeping it highly secure 5s so just continue now what is the password which you want so you can choose the basic one which is like testing or anything but it is not the right way to do that so what do we do we will use this feature wherein we can create a or generate a new password for us now here we will be shown the strength and also we want to see how the password looks like so if we are going to use combination of uppercase lowercase numbers and special characters this is the password it is suggesting us uh, but uh, it, the password quality is kind of good not the excellent one so we would like the excellent so excellent comes after 17 characters yeah so 17 it is yeah we could have used extended x key but uh, it will add more complexity in just in case you choose to type in by yourself so we are sticking to the special characters and these combinations 
And once that is done, we can just copy it to our any notepad or anything. You can just, uh, the most secure would be to, to write it down or to keep it somewhere which is extremely safe. So for now, we are just using sublime text. We are just pasting it. And uh, now we have copied the password which it has suggested us. Now, okay, so now we are done with that. And now just copy and accept. And this is the password which it generated. So if you want to make it more secure, you can add a key file to it. So add a new key file. So basically you will have to generate it. So you can just store it here. And uh, without this, this won't work. So even if you're providing the correct password, if you don't have the key file, it won't open. So this helps you in making it extremely secure. So just click on done. Now we are done with that process. And uh, what would be the database name? It can be anything. Okay. Now we have the setup ready for our key pass XE. Now what we are gonna do is we are gonna add some fake or dummy accounts which you can replace with the real accounts of yours but do a test trial just to get a feel of it if it is decrypting the correct way don't uh, delete the passwords wherein wherever they are for now use it for a few days just to get a feeling of it if uh, if the database not is not getting corrupted keep a backup of those files which are generated by keypass xe so that in worst case scenario, if your hard disk gets crashed, your password are still with you. So keep them somewhere safe. Now, just click on this icon to create a new entry. And here we are seeing titles. So it can be LinkedIn, for example. Uh, it can be any username which you have. And then the password. So hello and hello. What is the URL? LinkedIn.com and uh, and yeah we are done just in case you want to add some additional attribute you can do that you can even choose to download the linkedin icon from web and use the custom one just to make it look very nice now once you are done with that you can just click on save and uh, we can add a new entry as well so let's say facebook and your username and the password now here we can just enter the url and expires is very important so just use let's say after every three months you need to generate a new password so just uh, click on ok now that password will be expired after three months so you can keep uh, such settings so that uh, you will know when to reset your password just to make sure that your accounts are highly secure now once you're done with that you can just uh, lock your system or database just try to log in back and just enter the password and the key and click on ok and our database would open back but just in case you just entered the password and not the key it won't work but in this case it is pre-selected I was gonna unselect it or deselect it so now let's deselect it and now try without the key file if it will open or not and it didn't so as we can see without key file even if the password is correct it won't open so now just uh, feed in the key as well and click on OK and now we can access our database and one more thing about uh, KeePass XA is that at times it is uh, kind of interesting to you know come up with a strong password so KeePass helps us in that so for example even if we have uh, entered the username and the password can be generated by the KeePass XE which is absolutely amazing because then you don't have to focus on creating a new password by yourself you can just accept it and it will automatically be saved in the database so it's perfect to use so now just uh, click on ok now we have the password saved for us it takes a while and it will become sluggish because uh, it is 
currently using the strongest encryption which the KeePass XC offers uh, and uh, it continuously encrypts the data and decrypts it so it takes a while to process all of that and uh, ensure that you retain multiple copies of your password files because if you won't maybe at particular point of time your password may get corrupted and then there will be a lot of issues so always have uh, backups even of your password files so once that is sorted and uh, you have uh, configured everything keypass xa is good to be used so if even if you lock it and enter the password again we are just trying it uh, for checking if uh, the database is okay or not so just uh, fade in the key file and click on ok and now we can see that the database is getting unlocked hopefully yeah so it has now you can also double click on the url to actually uh, open the url and you can even paste or copy the password or username or even you can edit the entries open the url so different things can be done just by right clicking on each of these entries so this keypass xc is an amazing password manager software which is available for free and uh, and it works like charm and it keeps your uh, database it keeps your passwords and all credentials secure and it lets you choose the password it lets you generate the password it reminds you when the password is getting expired so most of the things which you would have worried about will be sorted by using keypass xc amazing software to be used thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you didn't, then leave a comment so that we can improve it further. Do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.